Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today is going to be chit chatty, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, we'll start out with my super awesome neighbors from across the street. They have three boys, and those boys have a snake. So I asked them a few weeks or so ago if the next time the snake shed, if I could have it, and they said yes. I'm sure they think I'm weird, but um, here it is, and I'm going to put it in a jar. And now I will have snake shed in my apothecary if ever I need it. Um, oh, little bits from the cage. So there's that. Um, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And a few days ago, scrolling through Facebook, as you do, and an ad came up for the Witch's Herbal Primer, A Beginner's Guide to Plant Magic. And it is a very beginner book. Um, very basic. But the artwork is what made me buy it because it's got pictures like that. Um, and my plan, and I might buy, may, the girl can't talk today. I might purchase a second copy to um, cut pictures out and, and put them in my grimoire because these are fantastic. The only problem I would have, I think, is well, it doesn't seem like a lot of these pages are really double sided either. Oh, look at that. So there's that. I love this. Like I said, I might buy a second copy so I can cut one up and put it in my grimoire. Just of the herbs that I use the most, um, I have pages that I made 15 plus years ago, and they have faded a little bit or a lot of it. Um, they're messy. They're sloppy. Some of it I can't really read anymore. So it would be fun to redo those pages with these pages. Um, I will link this down below. Because if you're like me and you just want the pictures, it was less than 20 bucks. It was like 19 change. So get one. Um, and now my trip to Salem. <laughs> we had a blast. We really did. We had a rough start because um, we went to a concert the night before. We went and saw Three Doors Down with Candlebox. And thank you, Live Nation and Vet Ticks. The show was great. Um, but your girl, you know the saying, I can still party like a rock star, but I cannot recover like one was never truer than it was after that concert. Um, cause we left the show and we stopped by the bar. We usually go to for karaoke for a drink and a song. So we got in late. So we got a late start on Sunday morning to go to Salem because I needed like a half a gallon of coffee and 42 Tylenol to even get moving. Um, so because we got into Salem late, I didn't get to do things the way I normally do them, which I am a creature of habit and it totally threw me off. So I didn't get to go to the old Bearing Point Cemetery because it was after sunset. Um, I didn't make it to seagrass. So I didn't get a good night's sleep that first night in Salem. Um, we had a great dinner when we got in. We went to Turner's for seafood and their food is amazing. So that was great. Then we went back to the hotel, got a good night's sleep, started fresh the next day. Um, and my bad, we had a tour booked for that second day in Salem. And I had two addresses in my head, one for the tour and one for the boat for the following day. Um, I mixed those two addresses up. So we missed our tour that first day. Um, fortunately, the tour guide, Uni, is a sweetheart. And she rescheduled us to the Wednesday that we were leaving for earlier, for, I think it was for one o'clock, so that we could still do the tour and and then we did so that's what we did we moved it to that day um she was well within her rights to just be like well you missed it oh well no refunds um and i would have totally understood because it was my fault um so i was so grateful that she rescheduled it and more about the tour after but first fourth of july i booked us seats on mahi cruises for to be out on the water during the fireworks and it would have been amazing, but it was cloudy and a little rainy and foggy and you could barely see any fireworks. All you could really see was the clouds 
flash and light every now and then. Um, not uh, Mother Nature didn't want us to see the fireworks. Um, this was our second time going to Salem for the 4th of July for the fireworks. And I thought being out on the water was going to be amazing. And it would have been if we could see them. So we might try again next year. We don't know yet. Um, but it was still fun. We still enjoyed ourselves. You just couldn't really see all the fireworks. Um, we went to, oh gosh, O'Neill's for dinner and karaoke one night. Oh my God, they were so packed. I mean, literally wall to wall people all wanting to sing karaoke. The poor KJ looked overwhelmed. <laughs> it was so packed. So we ended up leaving a little bit early because it was just, once it gets too busy like that for me, there's too much noise and too much conversations and the music's loud. And even though we went to hang out with a couple of friends that we know in Salem, we, we, we called it a night early, went back to the room because we had that tour booked for the next day, um, which we made. And it is the, the Witchwood Tours Forest Lore Tour. That's a mouthful. With Uni the Mushroom Witch. She is fantastic. So knowledgeable. Such a great storyteller. Um, you could tell she really, really loves th those woods. Um, it can be a little, little off-putting. You think, okay, I'm going to go meet a stranger. And they're going to take me on a tour of the woods kind of how most horror movies start um it was me and my husband and then one other girl she looked like she could have been more than like 16 17 years old um it was so much fun it's a hike i mean you're literally tromping through the woods uphill downhill over some rocks leaping over mud um there was some poison ivy but fortunately we were able to avoid touching any of it um and she pointed out all the really cool mushrooms and some really cool plants and history behind some of the plants and why they are where they are. I would totally recommend it a thousand percent. I want to do it again. I actually would like to do it again. There's um, She took us on the shorter path, but I guess there's a longer path through those woods. I would love to go on a tour and, and do the whole thing. Um, I'd have to get myself in a little bit better shape for that, though. I was huffing and puffing it was hot it was humid and i still had a blast um i joked that um because i used to tromp through the woods with my mother when she used to drag me and my sister fishing and camping and we always got yelled at hurry up something's gonna get you i'm gonna leave you out here the animals are gonna eat you <laughs> and nobody was yelling at me in the woods <laughs> so it was a little strange to be in the woods and not getting yelled at <laughs> um but we had, we had a good time. I was happy to come home because for some reason when I got home, I just felt incredibly overwhelmed. And I think once I made that mistake of messing things up and things didn't go in order, I, I got all chaotic and I was just ready to be done and just come home. Um, didn't do a lot of shopping, but I did, however, buy two things while I was in Salem. So it's not really a haul. I just bought a couple things. Um, I bought... Crystal Gem and Metal Magic by Scott Cunningham. Um, I have wanted this book, I don't know, forever. It seems like I have wanted this book for at least 20 years. Um, and I just never got around to buying it. So when I was in Pentagram, I bought it. Um, and I like it. Obviously, it's another reference book. Um, I, I do like it. And I will put a link to this an amazon link to this book down below because um i'll check and see if pentagram has a website you can order from and if they do i'll link them down below as well um but the favorite thing i bought while we were in salem is this shirt it's a crop top which i don't usually do i i, I prefer the whole shirt but they didn't have this in a whole shirt version and witches do it better it was an impulse buy and it was Fifty ninety nine for this little tiny little crop top on the website because I looked for it so that I can link it down below for you guys. Um, it's actually five dollars cheaper. It's forty five ninety nine. Still a little pricey for what it is. Like I said, it's a little thin crop top, but it's black craft gold. 
So you're, you're paying for the name a little bit. Um, but that's it. It was, it was a good time. I've had better times in Salem. Um, the highlight of the trip was that forest lore tour. Um, I will link which wood tours down below. If you're going to Salem and you like the woods, yes, absolutely do that tour. So now I have three favorite tours in Salem. The Witchwood Tours Forest Tour. The six Salem 1692 Before and After Tour. It's fairly new, but the tour guide grew up in Salem. He had an old company. He's just got a new company. He's fantastic. Um, and the Satanic Salem Walking Tour. That one is also incredible. Tom is super knowledgeable as well. Um, there have been other tours that we have taken that I honestly don't even remember what company they were through. So I couldn't even tell you what, if, if they're worth it or not. Clearly they're not because I don't remember them. Um, I don't know if the Salem Witch Walk is still good because I haven't taken that one in forever. And the tour guide that took us out on that tour doesn't work for them anymore. Um, but that's about it. It's been crazy around here. My house is still a mess from the remodeling we've been doing. And I'm going to get everything tidied up and then it's going to be time for a new project. But that's it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I have fun here. I love having company while I do it. And all you new subscribers, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you could join us. Have a great weekend. Today's Friday. So have a great weekend. And I will probably see you again in a couple days. My witch casket should be here any day. It'll probably show up as soon as I'm done recording. Bye, everyone. Cheers.